hello students hope you have understood my previous three videos which give the introduction of this chapter motion of ninth class science textbook if you have understood the introduction well it means you are prepared now to understand learn the chapter smoothly now learning outcomes of this video are there are four learning outcomes first is define origin or reference point define distance and displacement also give their SI and CGS units. Third is give at least four differences between distance and displacement. And the last one is name the instrument which is used or which is fitted in vehicles to measure the distance traveled by the vehicle. Now let us see our first learning outcome. Define origin or reference point. Now to understand the definition here, before I define it, just have a look at this example. Suppose in Mumbai there is Gateway of India and your friend stays in a colony called Sun City which is lying close to it. And maybe there are other colonies having the same name in Mumbai. So the best way you will, your friend can tell you that I stay in a colony called Sun City which is dash let us say 4 kilometers away from Gateway of India. So in that case the person has specified the position of his colony with respect to Gateway of India. And you know Gateway of India is not, uh, it is there from so many years. From hundreds of years it is there. So Gateway of India becomes a landmark or it is the fixed place with respect to which position of Sun City has been specified. So now let us see here origin. Origin or reference point is a fixed point with respect to which position of an object is specified. And students, I hope you have understood here now, what, which is our original reference point? Gateway of India. Because we have chosen this to specify the position of Sun City. So let us try to achieve our next learning outcome, that is define distance and displacement and give their SI and CGS units. Now let us first see the definition. Distance. Whenever a body is in motion, obviously it is going to move along certain path. So then distance covered by a body will be, is, it is the length of actual path covered by it. The path which the body has covered has certain length which we can measure using measuring tape or otherwise we can measure it. So that length of the path is called as distance traveled by it. And since it is length, so students you must be knowing that its SI unit will be meter. This is a symbol for meter and CGS unit of distance is centimeter and this is a symbol for centimeter. Now let us see what is displacement covered. Displacement covered by the body. When the body is in motion, displacement covered by the body is the shortest distance from its initial position to final position. Distance covered by the body is the shortest distance from its initial position to final position. Its SI unit is again same as it is shortest distance and we know distance have these units. So SI unit of displacement is again meter and CGS unit is centimeter. Now let us try to understand what is the difference between distance and displacement or let us even try to understand the definition. Yes, pay attention here students. Let us consider a is certain fixed point and there are four persons who start their motion from A. One of them moves along A, covers a straight path and reaches at final position B. The other person moves along this curved path and reaches point B. This is first person, second person moves along the curved path. Third person moves along this path. Okay, or let us choose it this way. This third path, third person moves along this path and reaches again finally at B. And let us choose a fourth person who moves in this direction and reaches point C. Let us choose C here. This is fourth person. So we have considered four persons who start from position A and three of them reach this final position B while the fourth person reaches the different final position at C. 
Now let us just assume what is the length of the path that we have covered. Let us say A to B this length of the path is 100 meter and second person let us say he has traveled 170 meter and the third person has moved along this path and let us say this length is 150 meter and fourth person who has moved along this path it has traveled the distance 100 meter. Now students you try to understand this that these three persons although their initial and final positions are same initial position of all of them is A and final position is B still they have moved along different paths. The length of the path for each of them is different. For first person it is 100 meter, for second it is 170 meter and for third it is 150 meter. So and for, for fourth person the length of the path is 100 meter. So I hope if you know the definition, if you have understood you can easily give the answer that distance traveled by first person is 100 meter, second person is 170 meter, third person is 150 meter and fourth person is 100 meter. So even if you give these magnitudes, you are completing the answer, what is the distance traveled by each of them? But if I ask you, what is the displacement covered by each of them? Displacement covered is shortest distance from its initial position to final position. Now in this case, for these three persons, initial and final positions are same. And what is the shortest distance between them? Obviously the straight line path. This this shortest length. So although they have traveled different distances, but the displacement for three of them is same. That is 100 meter. And also we have to say from A towards B. So displacement of the three persons is 100 meter from A towards B. If you just say 100 meter, that will not, that will not be fully correct. And for the fourth person, we can say distance traveled is 100 meter and displacement is also 100 meter but from A towards C. Yes, coming to our next learning outcome, that is give the differences between distance and displacement. Let us continue. So, first difference you can write the definition. Instead of it, you can use distance here and here you can use displacement. First difference, we know that distance is the length of actual path covered by a body and displacement is the shortest distance from initial position to final position. You have understood this definitions or difference in their definitions. Now next point is, distance covered depends upon the path chosen. As we have seen this in this diagram, that the three persons or this fourth person also, distance depends upon the path chosen. In case of these three persons, although their initial final positions are same, still because the paths are different, distance covered is different. So distance covered depends upon the path chosen. Here displacement does not depend upon the path chosen, but depends only on initial and final positions. Only on initial and final position. As we have seen here, that first, second, third, these three persons, their initial position is same A and final position is also same B but their distances are different, displacements are same. So even though they have traveled different paths, since their initial and final positions are same, so their displacement is same that is 100 meter from A towards B. So I hope the second point is also clear. Now let us move to the next point, distance is a scalar. If you have listened to the introduction videos properly, I hope you have understood. As distance, when I ask you distance, you just say for first person it is 100 meter, for second person it is 170 meter, for third person it is 150 meter and 100 meter for fourth person and your answer is full complete. Because distance means only length, there is no direction. So scalar is a physical quantity which has only magnitude and no direction. So we can say distance is a scalar. On the other hand, as we can see here, for the three persons, displacement is 100 meter and for this fourth person, it is also 100 meter. Means magnitudes of all the four persons is same of displacement, 100 meter. But still, will we say that the displacements are same? No, because displacement for first, second, third person, it is same, 100 meter from A towards B. But displacement for fourth person is 100 meter from A towards C. 
So when you are asked to give the displacement, you also have to give the direction from A towards B or from A towards C. And since for these three persons, both magnitude and display, uh, direction of displacement are same, we can say their displacements are same. But in this case, as the direction is different, although the magnitude is same, we can say displacement is different. So displacement has magnitude as well as direction. So we can say it is a vector because you know the definition of vector. Any physical quantity which has both magnitude and direction is called as a vector. Now next point is, distance can be positive or zero. When it will be zero? When the body is at rest. Suppose if it is not moving, then obviously it is not covering any path. Then the distance covered by it is zero. Otherwise, distance covered is always positive. As we have seen in this case, 150 meter, 100 meter, 170 meter. But it can never be negative. Displacement. Now, it can be positive. How positive? As we have seen for all the cases. Now, for example, if I consider this direction from towards right hand side. Suppose if I consider this direction to be positive and this direction to be negative, then I can say that displacement of first, second and third person is minus, sorry, plus 100 meter. So then no need to give it indirectly plus 100 meter means in this direction. So it can be positive and in this case the displacement is minus 100 meter. Here minus will indicate the direction is from A towards C. So we can say displacement can be positive or negative or zero. Again zero is either when the body is at rest or even when the body is in motion. Suppose for this first person, a person moves from A towards B and again comes back to A position. In that case, what is the distance traveled? 100 plus 100. Distance traveled for first person will be 200 meter and Distance will be 200 meter and what will be displacement? Yes students, displacement will be initial position is A and person is going there and again coming back to A. It means initial and final positions are same, A. So obviously when the initial and final positions are same, we can say shortest distance from initial to final position is 0 meter. So here the displacement can be 0 meter even when the body is at rest or even if it is in motion but initial and final positions are same, displacement can be 0 meter. You can write this point as I have written here or you can make certain modifications. For example, instead of this, if you write for a moving body, distance is always positive. Here, for moving body, Displacement can be positive, negative or zero. It is zero when initial and final positions are same. I hope you have understood these differences between distance and displacement very well. And since I have told you in the learning outcome that four differences are required, I will just discuss the last difference between them. But I have not written, you can just listen to the last difference. Now, if we see these three persons, for them, Initial and final positions are same. Their paths are different. So distance traveled is different for the three of them. 100 meter, 170 meter, 150 meter respectively. And displacement for all of them is 100 meter. So we can see that for each, for the first person, distance is 100 meter. Even magnitude of displacement is 100 meter. For second person, distance is 170 meter. And displacement is, for the second person, is also 100 meter. Even for the third person, distance is 150 meter, but displacement is 100 meter only. It has magnitude 100 meter. So from this example, we can see that magnitude of distance, distance has only magnitude, no direction. So magnitude of distance is always greater than the displacement's magnitude. Distance and displacement magnitude are only equal when the person is moving along the straight path. Like for example, for the first person, distance is 100 meter when he moves from A towards B and for him magnitude of displacement is also 100 meter. But for the other two persons who are not going straight, for them magnitude of distance is greater, greater than the magnitude of displacement. I hope this last point will be clear to you now that distance traveled 
is always greater than or equal to magnitude of displacement covered and displacement covered magnitude of displacement covered it can be equal to or it is always less than the distance traveled now let us see our last learning outcome so let us finally uh, under try to understand or just know the last learning outcome it is name that instrument which is used in vehicles to measure the distance traveled by the vehicle you must have seen when you travel in a car or when you travel by car or scooty or bike you must have seen that when you start from your home and reaches let us say your uncle's place then your your papa says that today we have traveled or your uncle's place is let us say 60 km away from your house how does he know that because you know there is a vehicle called as odometer which is fitted in the car so your dad must have noticed its reading when he started his car from home and he noted the reading again when he reaches your uncle's place so when the two readings are subtracted we can find out distance traveled by the car so odometer is a vehicle sorry it is an instrument fitted in the vehicles using which we can find out distance traveled by the car yes students hope you have enjoyed and understood this video very well thank you